subscription spot, we are having a look at the Dinosaur Dracula January 2016 subscription box service. Every single month when Dinosaur Dracula delivers their box, guaranteed you're going to get a bunch of retro throwback toys and collectibles inside each box. That being said, Spot will put the link down below if you guys are interested in having Dinosaur Dracula delivered to your house every single month as well. All right, let's grab ourselves Hank here. I'm going to cut the tape on the front. I don't know if there's tape on the side. Yes, there is. I could have made a fool of myself by trying to rip this box open only to find out the tape was still on the sides. Okay, so let's open this up and see what we got inside for the January 2016 box from Dinosaur Dracula. First thing we were treated to is New York Deli Kettle Cooked Potato Chips. This is from Wise, the classic American snack. Now, even though you get a lot of retro things inside collectible-wise, the food, luckily, that you usually get is always, you know, still fresh. This is, uh... Well, April 18th, 2016, so I've still got lots of time. Let's open these. I've never tried these before, the deli kettle cooked chips. So let's open this up, find out what they're like. I see so far, it seems to be like a lot of Ninja Turtle heavy stuff in this box. That's good. Pulling out one of the chips. There it is right there. I love kettle cooked chips. It's, it's a shame because when you have a kettle cooked chip, it's really hard to go back to a regular chip. Am I the only one that finds that? Can I get a woo woo if that if, if that is the case? Let's give it a try. New York Deli Kettle Cooked Potato Chips. Here we go. Oh! Spot's finger was over top of that. This is also jalapeno. Or some people would say jalapeno. Jalapeno flavored kettle cooked chips. I was going to say, that didn't taste like a regular salt chip. Pretty good. A little bit of heat. <coughs> Bless me. Spot's a little allergic to heat. You'll have to excuse me. I'm also allergic to allergies. Well, not allergic to allergies. I have allergies to things, which is happening right now. It's good flavor. Like I said, a little bit of heat. Not overly hot, which means I can polish off this whole bag, which I will be doing. Let's put that right there. The first thing we are treated to figure-wise or collectible-wise is Cowabunga includes two vintage Ninja Turtle figures made in Spain. As for Dracula, you also get a lot of cool collectibles from around the world that you probably would have never been able to see or even knew existed. Case in point, the Turtles figures from Spain. My God, look at Shredder. Well, I guess he looks a lot like his figure counterpart, the old Playmates figures, as he is shirtless. Big shirtless Ron! His helmet is also blue. His mask is purple. He's uh, He's been working out. And the next one is Leo. Leo doesn't seem like he's been working out as much. He's a little rounder. He also has a very short sword, or katana. Both are from Spain. I can add these to my collection of Turtles toys. We'll actually have them defending the jalapeno kettle cooked chips. Moving along... We have a Care Bears Bedtime Bear Fan Pull Collector's Series. This is from Plus Mark, an American greetings company made in China. Quick, let me know down below your favorite Care Bear. I mean, is it Bedtime Bear? I don't know. Let me know down below. My favorite used to be a Tender Heart. That was my favorite. Or Grumpy Bear. I don't know why. When I was younger, my mom got me Grumpy Bear. I don't know if she was trying to tell me something. But there is Bedtime Bear. Comes with like a little lanyard or a little chain. Oh, I see what it is. Okay. Uh, I think Fan Pull Collector Series. I, I wonder if you could, I'm looking at this, I wonder if you could actually connect this to your lamp. And then you can actually turn on and off your lamp. If that is the type of lamp that you have. I have the lamp that, you know, you just turn the little knob next to the light bulb. But if you have like the old, you know, I don't know why I'm making that noise, but a little bedtime bear fan pull. It says fan pull. I don't know if, unless it's for fans, but I'm thinking that's also more so for lamps. It's a, uh, it's a hard material too. It's plastic or it feels, it almost feels like it wants to be like a porcelain. Not 
trying to think of not porcelain, but that other material that they use for a lot of collectibles. I like that. I'll be making use of that somehow. Moving along, we have the California Raisins Dino Specimen, Dino Drax Specimen number 18. And on the back, my grandmother loved uh, California Raisins. The California Raisins debuted in 1986 and immediately gained unfathomable popularity, thanks in part, thanks in a large part to their many musical appearances during commercial breaks. The include figure was part of the California Raisins promo at Hardy's restaurants in the early 2000s. Enjoy. This California Raisin is strumming out on his guitar, kind of like Marty McFly from Back to the Future. It also looks like it looks like he's got a game controller. Like he's got guitar. Is this like one of the earliest memories of Guitar Hero? It looks like he's got like a Guitar Hero guitar. Fling! I don't know. Put that to the side. What else do we have in here? We have Bigfoot Trading Cards Premium Edition from Leslie. This was another staple in Spot's house. Was monster truck pulling. It wasn't monster truck pulling, but you know what I mean. It was like the monster truck rallies. I think that's what they called it, monster truck rallies. There's the original, or one of the originals. I think that is the original, Bigfoot. There was that, then there was that giant Bigfoot. Remember the one that had the huge tires? But this one doesn't have any markings on it. This is the 1988 introduction of Bigfoot 7. And that's one of the more classic Bigfoots. This is Bigfoot 2. This one here is, this is Bigfoot 1 on a leisurely cruise in the Missouri River. There's another Bigfoot. This is Bigfoot 1. And finally, it doesn't actually, oh, it says Bigfoot 2 at the top there. Bigfoot was pretty big in his time as well. I don't know. I don't know if he's still around. Like, I don't really watch a lot of monster truck things anymore, but is he big anymore? Somebody let me know. Somebody let me know. Is Bigfoot still big? Or is he now Smallfoot? You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Okay, we've got Gremlins cards. Oh, and they're all they're stickers. It's one of the original uh, Stripe. There's another Stripe. It's like old classic artwork, 1984. It looks like you make the poster on the back of Gizmo. Gizmo. That's a really creepy looking picture of, is that is that the best picture that they wanted to go with for displaying Gizmo? There's Gizmo, another Gizmo art, promo art. Gizmo in the Barbie car. Another stripe. Another stripe. Another stripe. Another gizmo. Apparently there's only two characters in this entire movie. There's Stripe as Mogwai. And there is Gizmo. And again, all these are stickers. So I can peel them off and you guessed it. Yeah, you guessed it. I can put that in my sticker album. Let's try to keep everything uh, sorted and nicely organized. I don't want to make a mess everywhere. Bingo was his name-o. Movie trading cards, 10 cards from Pacific. I don't know if this, these will actually come with gum. These are what you would consider wax packs. Back in the day, wax packs. This is Bingo. I don't think I've ever seen Bingo. What's the year on this? 1991, that probably would explain it. Bingo, the morning after, trying Duke's Dogs. Chucky's Big Surprise, Bingo's Bad Mirage, Mirage, Attack of the Hot Dogs, Coming Out of It, The Tingle Returns, I don't know, I'm not sure about that, Friends for Life, and Ready to Attack. So we've got ourselves even more cards inside. Bill and Ted's most uh, atypical movie cards. A bodacious trip to San Dimas, California, or other non-bogus prize. 
And this comes to us from, looking at it, 1991 Pro Set. Got a lot of trading cards in this month's box. Ugh, there we go. Okay, so there's Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. Totally ruining that. Bill and Ted. I believe that was the poster for Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. This is just the photo uh, t phone booth. Beethoven. I love watching videos where somebody's going through cards and you hear this noise. Ready? Ready? Like somebody flipping through a stack of trading cards. I don't know. I get tingles and jingles. Moving along. Pro Set Superstars Music Cards. With facts about your favorite rock, pop, and rap stars. Ooh, this will be interesting. Let's find out who was big in 1991. I wonder if Vanilla Ice will be in there. I'm trying to think of other 1991's music stars. Kid and Play? Criss Cross? Richard Marks was apparently one of them. Jimmy Page? Indecent Obsession. Never heard of them. What were they known for? Uh, doesn't actually say. It should actually say their songs. Teddy Pendergrass. Someone apparently named Madonna. Oh, here, I'm going to do that again. Somebody's going to say, you don't know Madonna? I do know Madonna. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Same as I know who Janet Jackson is. Bullet Boys, I can tell you I don't know. I don't know Bullet Boys. Or Electric Boys. These guys should not get together. Electric Boys and Bullet Boys. I'm thinking that's going to be a lot of problems. Belle Biv DeVoe. I do know Belle Biv DeVoe. Michael Bolton, another big star in the 90s. 10 cents off your next purchase of Superstars Music T-shirts. And an instant win. Well, I can't enter it now. I'm pretty sure it's expired. Free rock and roll trip to London, free concert tickets, more than 10,000 great prizes. And we have some little flyer inserts. Snowman Memories, a short story by Matt from Dinosaur Dracula. And we also got probably the contents. Yes, contents. Highlight of this month's fun pack is a pair of vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures made in Spain in the early 90s. Believe it or not, they're officially licensed. California Raisins figure. There was four packs of vintage trading cards, a Care Bears fan pull chain, a Dino Drax's latest mini poster, which I hadn't actually gotten to yet. There it is right there. Sometimes I have to tip the box to get to it. Like vintage Ghostbusters, and there's... Uh, Mut Mutagen Man, and I'm not quite sure who this one is. Unless it's Dino, maybe it is Dino Drac. Uh, let's see here. Uh, pay attention to the included set of Gremlins cards. If you flip them over, you can build an awesomely adorable, and might I add, creepy gizmo poster. Keep digging and you'll find a, a Dino Drac sticker, a short story about snow days, and even a bag of dangerously delicious potato chips. I'll warn you, they're spicy. Thanks again for helping us keep the site afloat. I'll see you next month. From Matt, Dinosaur Dracula, dinosaurdracula.com. If you guys are interested in having a selection of vintage things delivered to your house every single month, don't wait. You can click the link down below and subscribe to the Dinosaur Dracula. Today we're having a look at the Dinosaur Dracula January 2016 box. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.